Let's write the name for CrPO42. First thing to note, we have Cr. That's a metal. In fact, it's a transition metal. And then we have PO4. This is a polyatomic ion. It's a group of nonmetals. So we have a metal, nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. The first thing we'll do is we'll write the name for Cr as it appears on the periodic table. That's chromium. Next, we have this polyatomic ion, PO4. You've either memorized that PO4 is lowercase p, phosphate, the phosphate ion, or if you're allowed, you look this up on a table of polyatomic ions. So far, the name we have for CrPO42 is chromium phosphate. But we said chromium is a transition metal, so we need to write the charge between these two names for chromium. We know that the phosphate ion is 3 minus, the whole thing. 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. So we need to get a 6 plus over here on the chromium to balance that out, have a net charge of 0. So 1 times, well, 6 plus. That means that 6 plus, that's the charge on the chromium, and we're going to write that between these two names. So we put a Roman numeral 6 between the chromium and the phosphate, and the name for CrPO42 is chromium 6 phosphate. If you were given the formula and asked to write the name, you know the chromium would have a 6 plus on it, so you'd need two of these phosphate ions to balance the charge. This is Dr. B with the name for CrPO42, chromium 6 phosphate. Thanks for watching.